reminds me of giving up hope. Melvin maintains his faith to carry on his family's legacy and build his own. But that's just the beginning of his testimony and success. Yeah, that's right. His second album, No Failure, encourages others to join our others on their journey and the relationship with God. That is Melvin Crispell III, and the man himself is joining us right now, right here on the white couch of New York Living. <laughs> Hello, sir. I don't even Hello. have the words. I am verklempt. Oh. I'm going to need tissues. <laughs> oh, my tissues. goodness. I, what, watching yourself. For me, I'm watching you watch yourself, and I'm watching everybody in the audience watch you and bawl their eyes out, and I'm trying very hard right now to hold back tears <laughs> myself. Are you, are you pinching yourself um, that you get to do this and be this beacon for people? Yes. You know, it's, it's really a dream come true. It's really an honor to serve and to see, well, to think about all that I've been through in my life um, and all that I've hoped for and prayed for, mm -hmm. to see this, um, it... It's mind-blowing. It's mind-blowing. Yeah. We also heard, in addition to all of this wonderful success, yesterday was your birthday. It was my birthday. On Juneteenth. Juneteenth. We would have been <laughs> terrible hosts if we didn't celebrate. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <Where's> it <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. I don't know if this is your, a good flavor for you. It is. Okay, good. It is. Oh, my God. Cake. We'll eat anything, so. Please, please, please. I know we're talking, <laughs> but please. <laughs> <laughs> so you come from you awesome. okay. Yes. You come from a long line of, of gospel singers. Your parents. Yes. Did you always know you were going to be a gospel singer? Um. I want to say yes, I did. I've, I've always wanted to be a singer. Uh, I started singing at the age of two. Oh, my uh, Right gosh. here, born in Brooklyn. Yes. Um, so, you know, um, my parents were heavily involved in the gospel industry. And so being able to watch them and travel with them and, like, learn from them, uh, it, it was amazing. And so I knew I've always wanted to be a singer, but did not know it would turn out like to be like this. So. We never do. You know, do you think, obviously, starting at such a young age and, and going along with them as gospel singers, you know, you always knew you wanted to be a singer, yeah. but kind of that experience and then losing them at such a young age, both of them kind of helped, whether subconsciously or consciously, push you in the direction of gospel? Yes, um, it was definitely a test of my faith mm -hmm. um, because, you know, what kid, what teenager wants to lose their mom and their dad? Um, how do you move on past that? You know, especially um, with your life, you trust God and you know that he's got everything con in control. But I had to trust him and rely on him and lean on him. And it has proven to bring me this far. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm grateful to God for everything that's happened in my life. And we're grateful to him for you as well. Say, Thank you. <laughs> let's talk about uh, season nine of BET's Sunday best. Yes. <laughs> what was that experience like? Oh my gosh. Um, my anxiety had never been higher. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anxiety was on 10. Yes, Listen. anxiety was on 10. Um, we get it. But you know, I was grateful. That was an experience that I'm super grateful for. Um, an experience that I really needed. Um, you know, just in the sense of learning how it is to be an artist, what it means to be an artist, and how to carry yourself as such. Um, and I learned so much being on that show, but it was absolutely amazing. Never um, well, along with being, you know, an artist of taking care of yourself and your vocal health and being able to, you know, treat people the right way and have music, create music that really reaches people. Um, and the ministry side of it, Kirk Franklin actually um, told me that, you know, the goal is to be able to merge ministry and artistry mm. into one, Ooh. into one. And that's something that really stuck with me. And it's difficult to do, yeah, but it's imagine. very possible. Right. Um, and so that's what I've been striving for. And that's, you know, really a key thing that I've learned on that show, which I'm grateful for. So you performed yeah. Wonderful Is Your Name for the finale. Yes. Uh, and we know it's a special connection because it was written by your dad. So yes. how did it feel to be on that stage in, in that capacity with all those people to be able to carry on that legacy? That right there it was very special to me. To be able to, to carry on the legacy, it was a reminder that 
um, I'm built for this mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm meant for this and that, you know, I'm capable to carry the legacy. It was an honor to be able to do that. Um, you know, I miss my parents. I wish they were here to see, you know, all that God is doing and see the manifestation of their prayers. Um, but I'm honored. I'm honored to carry that legacy. It was so special to be able to showcase that to the world. Sure. So, and your yeah. parents are still here with you. They yeah, Listen, absolutely. I lost my dad when I was 10. Wow. And wow. My, my family, daddy's with you. And I'd be like, where is he? Where, all right, <laughs> where? where? You know where they are. Yes, they absolutely. Are. Absolutely. They're in your heart. So as though that weren't enough. I know. New album, No Failures? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, oh, my goodness. We're going to play yeah. a clip, because why not? Again, if we could actually get a box of tissues out here, that'd be great. Um, this is your first live album. Yes. That's huge. Mm -hmm. so we want to talk about God Is, though. Yes, one of the songs. Absolutely. Please talk to us about the significance. Yes. So, of that. Um, God Is, you know, was an old song, song before I was born that I would listen to um, as a kid. Um, the uh, James, the late great James mm -hmm. Cleveland, um, written by Robert Fryson, but. Um, there was a young lady, a dear friend of mine in Rock Hill, South Carolina, named Bettina Wilson. Um, you know, I heard her do this arrangement um, a couple years ago, and it changed my life. It changed my perspective on the song, on the meaning behind it, even, like, you know, just to be able to take a song that was just so slow that made you cry, mm -hmm. but, you know, turn it into something that can bring you so much joy and to, and to move you to dancing, um, I, I had to have that a part of this record. Um, and so, you know, with her idea and my little, little twist on it, um, it turned into God Is. Um, and I'm, I'm excited that it's, you know, really reaching people and bringing joy and hope to people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is. So you're making a few more stops to perform. Yes. Where are you headed after New York? After New York, I will be in Atlanta, Georgia, and okay. then Dallas, Atlanta. Texas. Hot Atlanta. Yes. And then, uh, and then Dallas, Texas this weekend. So I'm super excited. Well, yeah. we're so excited that you joined us today. Thank you. Take those cupcakes. Take those I cupcakes. Gotcha. Home. I Give gotcha. them to the team. I mean, I'm going to take them. I know you are. <laughs> I can't eat on live television. Okay. <laughs> me, me neither, because I'll get nervous. Oh, my God. <laughs> Melvin Chris Bell III, you can stream so No Thank Failure you. right now on all streaming platforms. You can also see Melvin in Jersey City. Not Wait a minute. JC. Hold on. I got to get my planner out. July 26th. <laughs> Melvin, thank you. Keep on doing what you're doing. Yes, it is you. so powerful because music has the ability to reach and touch and change yeah. all lives. 